So I decided to try something a little bit different today. I'm gonna to try to make a cheeseburger macaroni, um, but I don't have the traditional hamburger helper. So I'm gonna use what I have in my kitchen to try to uh, make it work. I've got a pound of uh, hamburger meat. I've got um, some already, <clears throat> one of those macaroni and cheese dinner kits. I'm gonna throw in an onion and some spices, and we're going to mix this all together for a one pot wonder today. <laughs> I know it might sound crazy, but you know, I'm just thinking one pot, I'm still not feeling well. Let's just get something done, something good, something that's going to, you know, taste really good and also be very filling. So I'm not just up and down uh, for the rest of the day. So what I'm gonna do is brown off this pound of hamburger meat, drain it, then we'll get our noodles going. All right, so I browned off my hamburger meat. There it is, I've got my onion in so we get tender. I've drained off the grease, this is what I do. I just use a plastic cup, put me a paper towel in it, and I ladle it in there. So, for my kick a little bit, I'm gonna put this steakhouse seasoning. If y'all remember from my last video, I ran out of garlic salt, I don't have that, so. We're gonna do it like this. Put a little bit of that in there. I've already put some salt and pepper when I was browning, so I shouldn't have to do any more. Mix that around real good. All right, so this next part is where you're gonna say, I've never done that before, but it's okay. Here's my noodles. Pack that around. Maybe this is more like a goulash. <laughs> a cheesy goulash is what this is going to be. That kind of stuck together. So you see, I've got it mixed around in there. Every little bite's going to be some noodle and some hamburger meat. There we go. Now, I'm gonna put my cheddar cheese sauce on it. And I'm gonna let this cook down. Get nice and creamy. Probably add a little bit of milk to it as well to help it out. I've got this on low, like a four. And I'm using my plastic spoon so I don't scrape up my, my dish here. Let me get everything out that I can. Waste not, won't not. Ain't that what they always taught us? That's what they taught me anyway. So. We'll mix this all around. Cheesy macaroni. That's coming together pretty well. I'm gonna put just a, I'm gonna put just a, a smidget of milk, a smidget. <laughs> oh, y'all know what that is? A smidget of milk, just a little bit here. There we go. I have it open this one. It looks like I'm not going to get in it either. Can't pull it up. You ever have that where you can't really get into something? So when I say a smidge, it, it's going to be about that much. There you go. Just enough to help my cheese sauce just get a little creamier. Smells wonderful. There we go. And here's my cheesy macaroni goulash. Just like so. And I'm gonna put the top back on it and let it sit here on low. Kind of simmer some of that cheese. Won't let the splatter everywhere. Together, if you will. And we're gonna have dinner here in just a minute.
So here we are. Our cheesy macaroni. <laughs> That's good. Mm. A little bit more pepper. So, sometimes we make do with what we have. And I know the only reason I had that macaroni is because I found it on sale. If you wanted to, you could grate some cheddar in there. Maybe some sharp cheddar. Give it another little kick. Or some pepper jack. That would be for my friends that like to spice it up a little bit. But there we are. That is my dinner. Nice and simple. And I'm going to have leftovers for work. I'm going to have lunch and dinner tomorrow. All right, everybody. I'm starting to feel better. This ear is still causing problems. So I'm going to take my medicine and go lay down and try to doctor myself. Y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all soon.